This tutorial is part of a series of video instructions providing an overview of the Infinity Analyze capabilities and features. Micrometer bars and annotation objects can be added to images within Infinity Analyze. This tutorial covers the options and settings available in the Annotate menu. Placing accurate micrometer bars on images requires that the images are correctly calibrated for the magnification used. If you have any questions about calibration within Infinity Analyze, be sure to review the tutorial called Calibration and Presets. In this tutorial, we'll cover the steps required to add a micrometer bar to an image, alter the placement of the micrometer bar, edit the micrometer bar attributes, or add micrometer bars in controlled positions or locations. Following that, we'll also cover several of the options available for placing and manipulating annotation objects such as adding new graphics, moving the graphic position, editing the graphics properties, adding text, and modifying the text properties. Displayed on the screen is the live preview and several images captured from this sample using different magnifications. The appropriate calibrations were active when each image was captured from the camera so the micrometer bar length will be scaled according to the magnification of the image. Please note that in Analyze 6.0, micrometer placement settings will be directly associated with the calibration presets, allowing you to have different default values for each preset. We'll begin by placing a micrometer in the sample collected with a 10x objective. To place a micrometer bar on any captured image, use the Annotate menu and select Micrometer. The next step is to click the mouse on the image where you would like the micrometer bar to appear. The dialog box provides options for the micrometer bar. Specify the length and the description to appear with the micrometer bar on the image. Clicking OK at this point will cause the micrometer bar to appear at the selected location. With the micrometer displayed on the image, it's currently active or you can select it with the left mouse, causing eight small boxes to appear around the micrometer object. This will be easier to see if I use the fit to window and zoom in on that object. You can now drag the micrometer's position around to fine tune where you have it located. You can also use the handles and a mouse click to reposition the micrometer bar or label relative to each other. If you would like the label to appear below the micrometer bar, a rapid movement of the mouse will cause it to jump to the other side. Slow movements will cause the whole unit to be moved together. If you wish to change the micrometer bar parameters, simply double click on the object and you can change the length or the description fields as necessary. Controls are available for the font and the graphics that are used with the micrometer. You can select different font sizes, the color of the font, and the style from this window. Click OK to close the parameter bar. I'll now turn off the fit to window option so we can see the micrometer bar placed in this image. I'm now going to switch to the image collected with the 40x objective. To take advantage of the capability of placing the micrometer bar in a consistent location, first create one micrometer bar placed where you'd like it to appear, for example the one in the 10x sample. Next go to the annotate menu, choose micrometer, and then click the mouse anywhere in the image. Specify the length that you'd like for the micrometer bar. For a higher magnification, we're going to use a shorter length micrometer bar placement. But instead of clicking OK at this point, we're going to click Use Last Position, and then click OK. And this prompts the micrometer bar to appear in the same relative position on the image as we used for the last one. Remember that when a micrometer bar is added to an image captured using a different objective with the appropriate calibration data used, then the micrometer bar appears at the correct scale. Here you can see that the 200 micron bar on the 10x sample 
is the equivalent length to the 50 micron bar displayed on the 40x sample. Once again, in Analyze 6.0, the functionality has been enhanced so that the micrometer parameters will be automatically tied to the calibration presets. Adding other annotation objects to the images is a simple task. Once again, going to the Annotate menu, choose a graphic object type. In this example, we'll choose Arrow. Move on to the image area, click your mouse, and drag the object to the position that you want. Each object can be edited for its color and line thickness and fill parameters. Simply double clicking on the selected object will bring up the graphics parameters. You can see that we have a line color, line size, fill color, and optionally you can choose transparent for any of the solid shape objects. The arrow head style can also be changed. To add text to the image, simply click on the option for text from the annotate menu, type in the desired text, string, and click OK. The text appears in the box as defined by the parameters. You can edit these parameters by changing your font color. You can change your font size, your font style, and the font itself, and click OK. You can also edit the graphics properties, once again, transparent background or choosing a solid color background from the list. The text parameters appear changed. You can also drag the size of the box, reposition the box by clicking with the mouse. If you have multiple annotation objects on the screen and you'd like to select one, simply change to using the select tool from the annotate menu and then you can click the mouse on any graphic object and be controlling it, manipulating it by dragging or double clicking to open those properties again. When you're satisfied with the position of your annotation text, you can use the annotate menu and click to burn the annotations directly into the image ensuring that they'll be saved in this way. Once you've burned the annotations into the image, they do become part of the image and cannot be moved or manipulated at a later time. Refer to the Help menu and Settings dialog box to say whether or not you want annotations to automatically be included in any image prior to saving. And this saves you an additional prompt each time you close an, an image window. That concludes this tutorial on micrometer bar placement and annotation objects. Be sure to visit the other tutorials in this series on the Luminera website.